Hey guys, what is up? Top Dog Penguin here, and this is my let's play, or this is going to be my let's play of Terraria. Um, obviously, I've played a lot before, but um, I'm going to create a new character. Let's see. I'm going to give him red hair because I have red hair, in case you guys didn't know. There we go. Eyes. I have brown eyes, but I'm not even going to mess with that because that looks annoying. Let's see. I am one pale motherfucker, so turn that red down. Nope. Um... Uh, now I'm just starting to look black. There we go. Let's see. Clothes. Shirt. Mm, I'm gonna give myself a... Give myself a purple shirt. I like the color purple. Purple is a great, a great color. How about purple and... Black. How do I do black? Do I turn... What if I turn all the colors up? Will that make black? No. I will not make black. What if I turn them all down? Ah, uh, I'll just stick with the purple shirt. Pants. Uh, let's do... That. <laughs> I don't really even feel like trying. Hmm... God, that is a strange <laughs> noise. <laughs> oh. Um. But, um. Yeah, so. Really? Uh, anyway. I have to do this all over again. But. So, I play. I used to play Terraria a lot. No, I don't want purple hair. God damn it. I'm just gonna do. Anyway, I I used to play Terraria a lot, but um, I haven't in a while. I don't know why. I just kind of got bored of it. But um, as you guys may already know, there's have been a lot, a lot of updates since then, like bunch of new stuff added I don't even know to be honest like I, I have a pretty general understanding before like right when it came out I pretty much got all the like all the items let's see I pretty much got like all the all the special items you know all that jazz to a black shirt defeated all the bosses and whatnot. That works. How do I save? Create. Mm, let's call it. Let's just do Brandon. No. Let's do Chuck Testa. Alright, um, so I'm going to create a new world, small, because, let's name it Let's Play, except small because on the large world, it's impossible to do anything, but anyway, like I was saying, si since I've played, there have been a ton of updates, like I don't even know how many updates, like updates, like crazy, I don't even know what's in the game anymore, pretty much. So I just, I don't know. I know like the basic controls and stuff, but I'm going to be surprised a lot. I guess I'll start out by, I can, this can also be like a little guide. Or like a, if, if anyone's watching that's never actually played Terraria, and it's kind of like, they're looking at this like, oh, this kind of looks like Minecraft. Well, it does, because it, I would say it's in the same genre. It's not a copy of Minecraft because it's just not like that's like saying that 
Battlefield 3 is a copy of Call of Duty, which some people probably do say that, but it's not. They're just in the same genre. This is in the same genre as Minecraft, and just because they have many similar features doesn't mean that this game copied Minecraft. It just kind of maybe built off of it, but that's okay because they're both different in their own ways. This game is obviously not 3D. It's a 2D side-scroller, but um, it's so much different and it's so fun. And if you guys want to, you can go ahead and I think you should definitely, definitely buy this game. It's only $10. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Minecraft isn't even $10 anymore. It was when I bought it, back in the day. Back when it was, like, alpha. You know, those were good times. Back when Minecraft had no features at all. But, anyway, back to Terraria. So, what you want to, you want to, obviously, just like Minecraft, you want to start out by chopping down trees. But as you see in this game, you get... Oh snap. You start out with... You don't have to craft anything. You start out with tools and weapons. Um, but of course they're not... They're only the basic ones. So something about the trees in this game is if you chop up here, the tree will come down from that point. Like that. So if you chop from the bottom, the whole tree falls down. Which is nice. Um... So, and that over there, that green thing, that's a slime. Those are like the basic enemies during the daytime of the game. So, another thing that's different about this game from Minecraft is that in this game, there's like NPCs that actually like do stuff. Not like those weird Squidward looking guys, but like this guy. So, this is the guide. And, um... He pretty much tells you that he pretty much tells you if you want to if you have an item and you want to know what you can make out of it you um you <laughs> um you put it right there and it tells you you can put it in <laughs> you can put it in this little box right here and it'll tell you um all the recipes you can use with this item. So if you have a mushroom, you can make a bowl of soup, lesser healing potion, and regeneration potion. In this game, there are a lot of potions, and this game had potions. Um, this game had potions before Minecraft did actually. So that's one thing. And there are a lot of potions. Potions in this game are crazy. Like they probably added more since I st stopped playing, but there are a lot of potions, and they do some pretty cool stuff. And another thing, I'm just going to start talking about the differences between this and Minecraft. This game has um, bosses, and um, a few of them occur randomly. I know there's like a giant slime, and a few of them are in certain areas, but um, that could... So yeah, that's a, that's one thing that makes this game pretty pretty freaking interesting. It's fun to fight the bosses, and you can so, so, like some bosses can be summoned, some can be spawn, some some are found, and some randomly just spawn. But that's pretty much the gist of the bosses. So then, um, besides bosses in this game, there are different. There's a there's one of my favorite things about this game. There are special weapons, like um, like special items you can find that give you different abilities. There's not there's like the generic like each ore, and there's a lot of ores in this game. Each ore has their their set of armor and weapons and tools. But what's interesting is that um, you can also find like special weapons and tools that have that do like different effects. Like, there's this one sword that makes shooting stars fall from the sky, and, um, and there's, like, let's see, let me show you. So this is, like, where it says equip over here. These are the different, like, equipped item slots. Here's your armor, and here's your accessories. And your accessory accessories can be, like, 
rocket boots to like all kinds of cool stuff that just make you like jump higher and I don't know there's just so much like variety in this game and so much to find that I've always loved it but I haven't had a chance to play it in forever so I thought I'd play a little bit and record so yeah right now I'm just chopping down trees I think I've got <laughs> actually I got a little bit carried away I wasn't even paying attention I have a shit ton of trees let's see here um, so in this game, you want to build a house, obviously, and you can start out with the wood, and, um, at first the house is for you, but then if you make certain, different rooms of certain sizes, god, there's a bunch of screen tearing, that's weird, uh, sorry about that, so it looks like I fixed it, oh, snap, why is it going so slow, oh, god, God damn it. Okay, so let's try this again. It looks like there's just going to be s screen tearing. I don't know. You, you, I don't know what... If you don't know what that is, it's when, like, the... Mm, doesn't really seem to be doing it anymore. Anyway, um, in this game, when you die or when you quit, you always go back to you always go back to your spawn point, and you can change your spawn point by putting a bed down. But you don't lose your items, so you just lose your money. And um, money is there's actually a currency which is the money in this game. And when you build different rooms for your um, for people it makes like a merchant and a gun salesman and all them move in and you can use the money you get from killing monsters to actually buy different um see i got three copper coins from that and i'm gonna kill this buddy oh no well i'm sorry mr bunny okay so now i'm gonna find a place to set up shop oh shit hmm here, let's make some torches. So, this is the crafting menu. There's certain things that you can make um, by yourself, kind of like in Minecraft. Minecraft, But it's not limited to a box. So, I'm going to make some torches. Torches are made with um, wood and slime balls. Which is what you get from killing slimes. And you can, you can place items. Any... Ooh, ooh, a treasure chest. See, this is a treasure chest. The, they contain... Um, special items sometimes so hmm so this is different see since I played alright so we get a shine potion which is pretty cool healing potion always nice some copper bars and a forceful spear see here's see these are some of the cool um this is one of the cool like special weapons that you can't create by yourself and what's interesting about them is like depending on where you find them like so in this in the world you, I mean you'll see there's different biomes and stuff I'll, I'll see when it comes to it wow this is interesting <laughs> let's see let's read this knockback that's pretty cool so yeah and each of the weapons has their own like little special ability that they have but the better the deeper you go down the better the weapons you find are which is pretty pretty cool so it just gives you a little bit more incentive to go diving deep and trust me, in this game, there's a lot of incentive to go diving deep. So I think I'll um, set up my house in this little canyon here. Um, uh, well, let me clear out these trees first. Mm. So in this game, there's like, like eight, nine ten maybe even types of ores which is crazy and they all come from like super cool places let's try my new spear haha wow this, this kinda sucks <laughs> alright I don't like that very much but oh mister slime I trapped a little slime down there but I 
But yeah, so it is getting dark, and like in Minecraft, um, when it gets dark, um, enemies come out. So it would be a good idea for me to make a house. But before I do that, I want to get all these trees out of the way. So, um, so in order for the NPCs to move in, they each have a required like thing you have to do before they move in, and you have to have a specific like a room for them. And once you meet the requirement and you have a room, they will move in, and it'll give you a little message saying blah 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 has moved in, etc. etc. So it's getting dark. And you know when it's officially nighttime when the music changes. Yep, see? But. So I got rid of all these trees. Um. The zombies are gonna come get me. I'm very afraid. Um. Uh. I probably should have not wasted so much time. Okay, um, um, oh shit. Uh. Oh no, an eyeball. Uh. Oh, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> it's gonna kill me. Stay away from me, eyeball. Ha ha. Oh shit. Um sorry, I'm kinda trying not to die here. I don't wanna die. Cause it's nighttime and I'm all alone. Uh oh god. Ow, ow. No, please don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> I'll take refuge in this tiny box. Healing potion. Wow. Hmm. So you can only use a healing potion. So that's different. You can only use a healing potion once every now and then. Which kind of might get annoying because I can't heal myself if I'm in a fighting a boss or something. But we'll get to that road when it comes to it. Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> God damn it. Finally. Okay. It's dead. Build my house. Quickly. Oh, God. I'm sorry if it's really dark, but... Alright. Um. Alrighty. So... Even though this game is a 2D game, there are some 3D aspects, such as the background. Um, and you can see in the cave, see this is the outside, and then the cave has a like a wall, kind of. So you can make a wooden wall for your house. Oh, well first I want to make a workbench. So I can craft a workbench, kind of like in Minecraft. And so I can place it down wherever I want. And... What's interesting, what's really cool about this is as you move closer to the workbench, what happens is your stuff just gets, well, your, like the amount of items you can craft gets longer, or the list gets longer because you can craft more things with the, anyway, so what I want to do. I don't know why this is going so slow. I'm gonna make some wooden walls. Alright. So then you just start placing the walls. Damn it. That's not what I wanted. So in order to make this an official house, you just place the walls like this along the back. And I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these. And you fill in all the cracks. Sorry if this is a little bit 
mundane, but, you know, just doing my job, making my house. Shit. Gotta build some more. Wood walls. So, make my house beautiful. And I'm gonna run out again, aren't I? Yes. God damn it. Okay. So now my house. Oh. Now my house is officially sealed off. So, um, why is this? What is the deal with this? This is like super slow. It's really weird. <laughs> So, um, so you want to make a wooden hammer, and I'm going to make a long sword, and get rid of the short sword. Godly copper short sword. That's weird. Hmm. Apparently the sword I spawned with was powerful. But I don't really like short swords. So I'm going to keep this, this sword right here. Yep. I don't know. There's lots. You can scroll to choose these. Or you can click. Or you can use the buttons. I like to click them. But yeah. So this is my house right now. Um, you can use the hammer to... Uh, if you can reach it use the hammer to get rid of the, the walls just like <sighs> hold on one sec sorry about that someone came in my, <laughs> my room for a second but okay so back what I was saying use the hammer to get rid of the walls but I'm gonna make this little Okay, sorry about that one more time. I had to uh, keep having to chop the video up because some people keep walking in my room. But um, So I fixed up the house a little bit. Just fixed this and added a door. Craft a door just like this. Right there. Wooden door. Um, so now I want my first NPC to be able to move in with me. So what you need in the house for an NPC to move in is you need a chair and you need a table a wooden table and those are crafted just like that using wood so now I have a chair and a table and you can set stuff on top of the table well not that but generally you can set stuff on top of the table but yeah so this is my house so far um, eventually it should say that the guide will move in if it's actually the right size but I'm gonna expand a little bit you know just make my house a little bit bigger just like that um, let's see Need to make some more wooden walls. Make a lot of wooden walls this time. And also some wooden platforms. These are platforms. These are pretty cool. You can jump. You can jump up and land on them. Like that. And you can fall down through them. Like that. So it just makes your house kind of multi-leveled. So, got more than enough wooden walls to fill this bad boy in. I actually don't know if this will be counted as a room because of the fact that. Yeah, actually, I want to fix this real quick. Since, um, what am I, 
even talking about. Since there's a wooden platform on the floor, I don't know if this is counted as a room or not. So I'm going to go ahead and alter this a little bit. And put the wooden platform over here. And guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I get a little bit... Um, I fumble a little bit with my speech when I'm trying to record because I'm not really used to this recording thing. So, um, cut me some slack, maybe. I mean, I'm <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. I get nervous. I admit, everyone gets nervous. I'm trying to be entertaining, but I mean, I'm just trying my best here. So, built another room for a potential um, NPC to move in. But yeah, so this is my house so far. So, um, I guess I'll end it off here and next time we'll go cave exploring or some shit. But, um...